In mathematics, a Taylor series is a representation of a function as an infinite sum of terms that are calculated from the values of the function's derivatives at a single point. The concept of a Taylor series can be traced back to the 14th century Indian mathematician, Madhava of Sangamagrama, who is credited with the series for the sine, cosine, tangent, and arctangent functions by later 14th to 16th century mathematicians of the Kerala school of astronomy and mathematics. In the West, the subject was formulated by the Scottish mathematician James Gregory and formally introduced by the English mathematician Brooke Taylor in 1715. If the Taylor series is centered at zero, then that series is also called a Maclaurin series, after the Scottish mathematician Colin Maclaurin, who made extensive use of this special case of Taylor series in the 18th century. A function can be approximated by using a finite number of terms of its Taylor series. Taylor's theorem gives quantitative estimates on the error introduced by the use of such an approximation. The polynomial formed by taking some initial terms of the Taylor series is called a Taylor polynomial. The Taylor series of a function is the limit of that function's Taylor polynomials as the degree increases, provided that the limit exists. A function may not be equal to its Taylor series, even if its Taylor series converges at every point. A function that is equal to its Taylor series in an open interval or a disk in the complex plane is known as an analytic function in that interval. Topic: <laughs> Definition The Taylor series of a real or complex valued function f x that is infinitely differentiable at a real or complex number a is the power series f a plus f a 1 x minus a plus f a 2 x minus a 2 plus f a 3 x minus 3 plus display style f a plus frac f a 1 x a plus frac f a 2 x a caret 2 plus frac f a 3 x a caret 3 plus c d o t s where n denotes the factorial of n and f n a denotes the nth derivative of f evaluated at the point a. In the more compact sigma notation, this can be written as n equals 0 infinity f n a n x minus a n display style sum underscore n equals 0 caret infinity frac f caret n a n x a caret n the derivative of order 0 of f is defined to be f itself and x minus a 0 and 0 are both defined to be 1 when a equals 0 the series is also called a maclaurin series equals topic examples equals the taylor series for any polynomial is the polynomial itself the maclaurin series for 1 over 1 minus x is the geometric series 1 plus x plus x 2 plus x 3 plus display style 1 plus x plus x caret 2 plus x caret 3 plus c d o t s so the taylor series for 1 x at a equals 1 is 1 minus x minus 1 plus x minus 1 2 minus x minus 1 3 plus display style 1 x 1 plus x 1 carrot 2 x 1 carrot 3 plus c d o t s by integrating the above Maclaurin series we find the Maclaurin series for log 1 minus x where log denotes the natural logarithm minus x minus 1 2 x 2 
minus one three x three minus one four x four minus Display style x tfrac one two x carrot two tfrac one three x carrot three tfrac one four x carrot four c d o t s and the corresponding Taylor series for log x at equals one is x minus one minus one two x minus one two Plus one three x minus one three minus one four x minus one four plus Display style x one tfrac one two x one carrot two plus tfrac one three x one carrot three tfrac one four x one carrot four plus c d o t s and more generally, the corresponding Taylor series for log x at sum equals x zero is log x zero plus one x zero X minus X zero minus one X zero two X minus X zero two two plus Display style log x underscore zero plus frac one x underscore zero x x underscore zero frac one x underscore zero carrot two frac left x x underscore zero right carrot two two plus c d o t s. The Taylor series for the exponential function x at equals zero is n equals zero infinity x n n equals x 0 0 plus x 1 1 plus x 2 2 plus x 3 3 plus x Four four plus x five five plus equals one plus x plus x two two plus x three six plus x four twenty four plus x five thousand one hundred and twenty plus. Display style begin aligned sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf d frac x carrot n n and equals frac x carrot zero zero plus frac x carrot one one plus frac x carrot two two plus frac x carrot three three plus frac x carrot four four plus frac x carrot five five plus c d o t s and equals one plus x plus frac x carrot two two plus frac x carrot three six plus frac x carrot four 24 plus frac x carrot 5 120 plus c d o t s end aligned the above expansion holds because the derivative of x with respect to x is also x and e 0 equals 1. This leaves the terms x minus 0 n in the numerator and n in the denominator for each term in the infinite sum. Topic history. The Greek philosopher Zeno considered the problem of summing an infinite series to achieve a finite result, but rejected it as an impossibility. The result was Zeno's paradox. Later, Aristotle proposed a philosophical resolution of the paradox, but the mathematical content was apparently unresolved until taken up by Archimedes, as it had been prior to Aristotle by the pre Socratic atomist Democritus. It was through Archimedes's method of exhaustion that an infinite number of progressive subdivisions could be performed to achieve a finite result. Luhui independently employed a similar method a few centuries later. In the 14th century, the earliest examples of the use of Taylor series and closely related methods were given by Madhava of Sangamagrama. 
Though no record of his work survives, writings of later Indian mathematicians suggest that he found a number of special cases of the Taylor series, including those for the trigonometric functions of sine, cosine, tangent, and arctangent. The Kerala School of Astronomy and Mathematics further expanded his works with various series expansions and rational approximations until the 16th century. In the 17th century, James Gregory also worked in this area and published several Maclaurin series. It was not until 1715 however that a general method for constructing these series for all functions for which they exist was finally provided by Brooke Taylor, after whom the series are now named. The Maclaurin series was named after Colin Maclaurin, a professor in Edinburgh, who published the special case of the Taylor result in the 18th century. Analytic functions If f x is given by a convergent power series in an open disk or interval in the real line centered at b in the complex plane, it is said to be analytic in this disk. Thus for x in this disk, f is given by a convergent power series f x equals n equals 0 infinity a n x minus b n display style f x equals sum underscore n equals zero caret inf t or underscore n x b caret n differentiating by x the above formula n times then setting x equals b gives f n b n equals a n Display style frac f caret n b n equals or underscore n, and so the power series expansion agrees with the Taylor series. Thus, a function is analytic in an open disk centered at b if and only if its Taylor series converges to the value of the function at each point of the disk. If f x is equal to its Taylor series for all x in the complex plane, it is called entire. The polynomials, exponential function x, and the trigonometric functions sine and cosine, are examples of entire functions. Examples of functions that are not entire include the square root, the logarithm, the trigonometric function tangent, and its inverse, arctan. For these functions the Taylor series do not converge if x is far from b. That is, the Taylor series diverges at x if the distance between x and b is larger than the radius of convergence. The Taylor series can be used to calculate the value of an entire function at every point, if the value of the function, and of all of its derivatives, are known at a single point. Uses of the Taylor series for analytic functions include The partial sums the Taylor polynomials of the series can be used as approximations of the function. These approximations are good if sufficiently many terms are included. Differentiation and integration of power series can be performed term by term and is hence particularly easy. An analytic function is uniquely extended to a holomorphic function on an open disk in the complex plane. This makes the machinery of complex analysis available. The truncated series can be used to compute function values numerically, often by recasting the polynomial into the Chebyshev form and evaluating it with the Clenshaw algorithm. Algebraic operations can be done readily on the power series representation, for instance, Euler's formula follows from Taylor series expansions for trigonometric and exponential functions. This result is of fundamental importance in such fields as harmonic analysis. Approximations using the first few terms of a Taylor series can make otherwise unsolvable problems possible for a restricted domain, this approach is often used in physics. Topic approximation error and convergence pictured on the right is an accurate approximation of sin x around the point x equals zero. The pink curve is a polynomial of degree 7, sin x approximately equals x minus x33 plus x55 minus x77. Display style sin left x right approximately x frac x caret 3 3 plus frac x caret 5 5 frac x caret 7 7. The error in this approximation is no more than by 9 ninths. In particular, for minus 1 in contrast, also shown is a picture of the natural logarithm function log 1 plus x and some of its Taylor polynomials around or equals 0. These approximations converge to the function only in the region minus 1 in general. Taylor series need not be convergent at all. 
and in fact the set of functions with a convergent Taylor series is a meager set in the Fréchet space of smooth functions. And even if the Taylor series of a function f does converge, its limit need not in general be equal to the value of the function f x. For example, the function f x equals e minus one by two if x does not equal o o if x equals zero. Display style f x equals begin cases e caret frac one x caret two and text if x n e q zero zero and text if x equals zero end cases is infinitely differentiable at x. Topic zero and has all derivatives zero there. Consequently, the Taylor series of f x about x zero is identically zero. However, f x is not the zero function, so does not equal its Taylor series around the origin. Thus, f x is an example of a non-analytic smooth function. In real analysis, this example shows that there are infinitely differentiable functions f, x, whose Taylor series are not equal to f, x, even if they converge. By contrast, the holomorphic functions studied in complex analysis always possess a convergent Taylor series, and even the Taylor series of meromorphic functions, which might have singularities, never converge to a value different from the function itself. The complex function e minus 1, z2, however, does not approach 0 when z approaches 0 along the imaginary axis, so it is not continuous in the complex plane and its Taylor series is undefined at 0. More generally, every sequence of real or complex numbers can appear as coefficients in the Taylor series of an infinitely differentiable function defined on the real line, a consequence of Borel's lemma. As a result, the radius of convergence of a Taylor series can be 0. There are even infinitely differentiable functions defined on the real line whose Taylor series have a radius of convergence zero everywhere. A function cannot be written as a Taylor series centered at a singularity. In these cases, one can often still achieve a series expansion if one allows also negative powers of the variable x. See Laurent series. For example, f x equals e minus one x two can be written as a Laurent series. Equals. Topic Generalization equals There is, however, a generalization of the Taylor series that does converge to the value of the function itself for any bounded continuous function on zero infinity, using the calculus of finite differences. Specifically, one has the following theorem, due to Ina Hilly, that for any t greater than zero lim h zero plus n equals 0 infinity t n n delta h n f a h n equals f a plus t Display style lim underscore h to zero carrot plus sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf t frac t carrot n n frac delta underscore h carrot n f a h carrot n equals f a plus t. Here delta n h is the nth finite difference operator with step size h. The series is precisely the Taylor series, except that divided differences appear in place of differentiation. The series is formally similar to the Newton series. When the function f is analytic at a, the terms in the series converge to the terms of the Taylor series, and in this sense generalizes the usual Taylor series. In general, for any infinite sequence i, the following power series identity holds n equals 0 infinity u n n delta n a i equals e minus u j equals 0 infinity u j j a i plus j Display style sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf t frac u carrot n n delta carrot n a underscore i equals e carrot u sum underscore j equals zero carrot inf t frac u carrot j j a underscore i plus j. 
So in particular, f a plus t equals lim h zero plus e minus t h j equals zero infinity f a plus j h t h j j Display style f a plus t equals lim underscore h to zero carrot plus e carrot frac t h sum underscore j equals zero carrot inf t f a plus j h frac left frac t h right carrot j j. The series on the right is the expectation value of f a plus x, where x is a Poisson distributed random variable that takes the value j h with probability e minus t h t h j j. Hence, f a plus t equals lim h zero plus minus infinity infinity f a plus x d p t h h x Display style f a plus t equals lim underscore h to zero carrot plus int underscore inf t carrot inf t f a plus x dp underscore frac t h h x. The law of large numbers implies that the identity holds. Topic: List of Maclaurin series of some common functions. Several important Maclaurin series expansions follow. All these expansions are valid for complex arguments x. Topic: Exponential function. The exponential function e x display style e caret x with base e has Maclaurin series e x equals n equals 0 infinity x n n equals 1 plus x plus x 2 2 plus x 3 3 plus Display style e carrot x equals sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf t frac x carrot n n equals one plus x plus frac x carrot two two plus frac x carrot three three plus c d o t s. It converges for all x. Topic: Natural logarithm. The natural logarithm with base e has Maclaurin series log one minus x equals minus n equals one infinity x n n equals minus x minus x two Two minus x three three minus log one plus x equals n equals one infinity minus one n plus one x n n equals x minus x two two plus x three three minus.
Display style begin aligned log one x and equals sum underscore n equals one carrot inf t frac x carrot n n equals x frac x carrot two two frac x carrot three three c d o t s log one plus x and equals sum underscore n equals one carrot inf t minus one carrot n plus one frac x carrot n n equals x frac x carrot two two plus frac x carrot three three c d o t s end aligned they converge for x one display style x topic geometric series the geometric series and its derivatives have maclaurin series 1 1 minus x equals n equals 0 infinity x n 1 1 minus x 2 equals n equals 1 infinity n x n minus 1 1 1 minus x 3 equals n equals 2 infinity n minus 1 n 2 x n minus 2 display style begin aligned frac 1 1 x and equals sum underscore n equals 0 carrot inf t x carrot n frac 1 1 x carrot 2 and equals sum underscore n equals 1 carrot inf t n x carrot n 1 frac 1 1 x carrot 3 and equals sum underscore n equals 2 carrot inf t frac n 1 n 2 x carrot n 2 end aligned all are convergent for x 1 display style x these are special cases of the binomial series given in the next section. Topic: <inaudible> Binomial series. The binomial series is the power series 1 plus x alpha equals n equals 0 infinity alpha n x n display style 1 plus x caret alpha equals sum underscore n equals 0 caret inf t binom alpha n x caret n whose coefficients are the generalized binomial coefficients alpha n equals k equals 1 n alpha minus k plus 1 k equals alpha alpha minus 1 alpha minus n plus 1 n dot Display style binom alpha n equals prod underscore k equals one carrot n frac alpha k plus one k equals frac alpha alpha minus one c d o t s alpha n plus one n if n equals zero this product is an empty product and has value one it converges for x one display style x for any real or complex number alpha when alpha equals minus one this is essentially the infinite geometric series mentioned in the previous section. The special case is alpha. Topic one half and alpha minus one half give the square root function and its inverse one plus x one two equals one plus one two x minus 1 8 x 2 plus 1 16 x 3 minus 5 128 x 4 plus 7 256 x 5 minus 1 plus x 
minus one two equals one minus one two x plus three eight by two minus five sixteen by three plus thirty five thousand one hundred and twenty eight by four minus sixty three thousand two hundred and fifty six by five plus Display style begin aligned one plus x carrot frac one two and equals one plus tfrac one two x tfrac one eight x carrot two plus tfrac one sixteen x carrot three tfrac five one hundred and twenty eight x carrot four plus tfrac seven two hundred and fifty six x carrot five l dots one plus x carrot frac one two and equals one tfrac one two x plus TFRAC three eight x carrot two TFRAC five sixteen x carrot three plus TFRAC thirty five one hundred and twenty eight x carrot four TFRAC sixty three two hundred and fifty six x carrot five plus L dots end aligned when only the linear term is retained. This simplifies to the binomial approximation. Topic Trigonometric functions The usual trigonometric functions and their inverses have the following Maclaurin series sin x equals n equals 0 infinity minus 1 n 2 n plus 1 x 2 n plus 1 equals x minus x 3 3 plus x 5 5 minus for all x cos x equals n equals zero infinity minus one N two N X two N equals one minus X two two plus X four four minus for all x tan x equals n equals 1 infinity b 2 n minus 4 n 1 minus 4 n 2 n x 2 n minus 1 equals x plus x 3 3 plus 2 x 5 Fifteen plus four x pi two seconds x equals n equals zero infinity minus one n e two n two n x two n equals one plus x two two plus five x four twenty four plus four x pi two arc sine x equals n equals zero infinity two n four n n two two n plus one x two n plus one equals x plus x three six plus Three x five forty plus four x one arcos x equals pi two minus arc sine x equals pi two minus n equals zero infinity two N four N N two two N plus one X two N plus one equals 
pi 2 minus x minus x 3 6 minus 3 x 5 40 minus 4 x 1 arctan x equals n equals 0 infinity minus 1 n 2 n plus 1 by 2 n plus 1 equals x minus x 3 3 plus x 5 5 minus 4 x 1 x does not equal plus or minus i display style begin aligned sin x and equals sum underscore n equals 0 carrot inf t frac minus 1 carrot n 2 n plus 1 x carrot 2 n plus 1 and and equals x frac x carrot 3 3 plus frac x carrot 5 5 c d o t s and and text for all x 6 p t cos x and equals sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf t frac minus one carrot n two n x carrot two n and and equals one frac x carrot two two plus frac x carrot four four c d o t s and and text for all x six p t tan x and equals sum underscore n equals one carrot inf t frac b underscore two n minus four carrot n left one to four carrot n right two n x carrot two n minus one and and equals x plus frac x Carrot three three plus frac two x carrot five fifteen plus c d o t s and and text for x x carrot five five c d o t s and and text for x l e q one x n e q p m i end aligned all angles are expressed in radians. The numbers b k appearing in the expansions of tan x are the Bernoulli numbers. The ek in the expansion of sec x are Euler numbers. topic hyperbolic functions the hyperbolic functions have maclaurin series closely related to the series for the corresponding trigonometric functions shine x equals n equals 0 infinity x 2 n plus 1 2 n plus 1 equals x plus x 3 3 plus x 5 5 plus for all x cosh x equals n equals zero infinity x two n two n equals one plus x two two plus x four four plus for all x than x equals n equals 1 infinity b 2 n 4 n 4 n minus 1 2 n x 2 n minus 1 equals x minus x 3 3 plus 2 x 5 15 minus 17 x 7 315 plus 4 x pi 2 r shine x equals n equals 0 infinity minus 1 n 2 n 4 n n 2 2 n plus 1 x 2 n plus 1 for x 
1 r than x equals n equals 0 infinity x 2 n plus 1 2 n plus 1 for x 1 x does not equal plus or minus 1 display style begin aligned shine x and equals sum underscore n equals 0 caret infinity frac x caret 2 n plus 1 2 n plus 1 and and equals x plus frac x caret 3 3 plus frac x caret 5 5 plus c d o t s and and text for all x 6 p t cosh x and equals sum underscore n equals 0 carat infty frac x carat 2 n 2 n and and equals 1 plus frac x carat 2 2 plus frac x carat 4 4 plus c d o t s and and text for all x 6 p t than x and equals sum underscore n equals 1 carat infty frac b underscore 2 n 4 carat n left 4 carat n minus 1 right 2 n x carat 2 n minus 1 and and equals x frac x carat 3 3 plus frac 2 x carat 5 15 Frac 17 x carat 7 315 plus c d o t s and and text for x the numbers b k appearing in the series for than x are the Bernoulli numbers. Topic: <coughs> <coughs> Calculation of Taylor series. Several methods exist for the calculation of Taylor series of a large number of functions. One can attempt to use the definition of the Taylor series, though this often requires generalizing the form of the coefficients according to a readily apparent pattern. Alternatively, one can use manipulations such as substitution, multiplication or division, addition or subtraction of standard Taylor series to construct the Taylor series of a function, by virtue of Taylor series being power series. In some cases, one can also derive the Taylor series by repeatedly applying integration by parts. Particularly convenient is the use of computer algebra systems to calculate Taylor series. Topic: <laughs> First example. In order to compute the seventh degree Maclaurin polynomial for the function f x equals log cos x x element of minus pi 2 pi 2 display style f x equals log cos x quad x in left frac pi 2 frac pi 2 right one may first rewrite the function as f x equals log 1 plus cos x Minus one display style f x equals log b i g l one plus cos x one big R. The Taylor series for the natural logarithm is using the big O notation log one plus x equals x minus x two two plus x. 3 3 plus o x 4 display style log 1 plus x equals x frac x caret 2 2 plus frac x caret 3 3 plus o left x caret 4 right and for the cosine function cos x minus 1 equals minus x 2 2 plus x 4 24 minus x 6 720 plus o x 8 Display style cos x one equals frac x carrot two two plus frac x carrot four twenty four frac x carrot six seven hundred and twenty plus o left x carrot eight right. The latter series expansion has a zero constant term, which enables us to substitute the second series into the first one and to easily omit terms of higher order than the seventh degree by using the big O notation. F x equals log one plus cos x minus one equals cos x 
minus one minus one two cos x minus one two plus one three cos x minus one three plus O cos x minus one four equals minus x two two plus x four twenty four minus x six seven hundred and twenty plus O x eight minus one two minus x two two plus x four twenty four plus O x six two plus one three minus x two two plus O x four three plus O x eight equals minus x two two plus x four twenty four minus x six seven hundred and twenty minus x four eight plus x six forty eight minus x six twenty four plus O x eight equals minus x two two minus x four twelve minus x six forty five plus O x eight Display style begin aligned f x and equals log b i g l one plus cos x one big R and equals cos x one t f r a c one two cos x one carrot two plus t f r a c one three cos x one carrot three plus o left cos x one carrot four right and equals left frac x carrot two two plus frac x carrot four twenty four frac x carrot six seven hundred and twenty plus o left x carrot eight right right Frac one two left frac x carrot two two plus frac x carrot four twenty four plus O left x carrot six right right carrot two plus frac one three left frac x carrot two two plus O left x carrot four right right carrot three plus O left x carrot eight right and equals frac x carrot two two plus frac x carrot four twenty four frac x carrot six seven hundred and twenty frac x carrot four eight Plus frac x carrot six forty eight frac x carrot six twenty four plus o left x carrot eight right and equals frac x carrot two two frac x carrot four twelve frac x carrot six forty five plus o left x carrot eight right end aligned since the cosine is an even function the coefficients for all the odd powers x x three x five x seven have to be zero. Topic. Second example Suppose we want the Taylor series at zero of the function g x equals e x cos x Display style g x equals frac e caret x cos x We have for the exponential function e x equals n equals 0 infinity x n n equals 1 plus x plus x 2 2 plus 
x 3 3 plus x 4 4 plus Display style e carrot x equals sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf t frac x carrot n n equals one plus x plus frac x carrot two two plus frac x carrot three three plus frac x carrot four four plus c d o t s and as in the first example cos x equals one minus x two two plus x 4 4 minus display style cos x equals 1 frac x caret 2 2 plus frac x caret 4 4 c d o t s assume the power series is e x cos x equals c 0 plus C one x plus C two x two plus C three x three plus Display style frac e carrot x cos x equals c underscore zero plus c underscore one x plus c underscore two x carrot two plus c underscore three x carrot three plus c d o t s. Then multiplication with the denominator and substitution of the series of the cosine yields e x equals c zero plus c one x plus c two x two plus c three x three plus cos x equals c zero plus c one x plus c 2 x 2 plus c 3 x 3 plus c 4 x 4 plus 1 minus x 2 2 plus x 4 4 minus equals c 0 minus c 0 2 x 2 plus c 0 4 x 4 plus c 1 x minus c 1 2 x 3 plus c 1 4 x 5 plus c 2 x 2 minus c 2 Two x four plus c two four x six plus c three by three minus c three two by five plus c three four x seven plus c four by four plus display style begin aligned e carrot x and equals left c underscore zero plus c underscore one x plus c underscore two x carrot two plus c underscore three x carrot three plus c d o t s right cos x and equals left c underscore zero plus c underscore one x plus c underscore two x carrot two plus c underscore 
three x carrot three plus c underscore four x carrot four plus c d o t s right left one frac x carrot two two plus frac x carrot four four c d o t s right and equals c underscore zero frac c underscore zero two x carrot two plus frac c underscore zero four x carrot four plus c underscore one x frac c underscore one two x carrot three plus frac c underscore one four x carrot five plus c underscore two x carrot two frac c underscore two two x carrot four plus frac c underscore two four x carrot six plus c underscore three x carrot three frac c underscore three two x carrot five plus frac c underscore three four x carrot seven plus c underscore four x carrot four plus c d o t s end aligned collecting the terms up to fourth order yields e x equals c 0 plus c 1 x plus c 2 minus c 0 2 x 2 plus c 3 minus C one two X three plus C four minus C two two plus C zero four X four plus Display style e carrot x equals c underscore zero plus c underscore one x plus left c underscore two frac c underscore zero two right x carrot two plus left c underscore three frac c underscore one two right x carrot three plus left c underscore four frac c underscore two two plus frac c underscore zero four right x carrot four plus c d o t s the values of c I display style c underscore i can be found by comparison of coefficients with the top expression for e x display style e caret x yielding e x cos x equals one plus x plus x two plus two x three three plus x four two plus Display style frac e carrot x cos x equals one plus x plus x carrot two plus frac two x carrot three three plus frac x carrot four two plus C D O T S Topic. Third example Here we employ a method called «indirect expansion» to expand the given function. This method uses the known Taylor expansion of the exponential function. In order to expand 1 plus x, x as a Taylor series in x, we use the known Taylor series of function x e x equals n equals 0 infinity x n n equals 1 plus x plus x 2 2 plus x 3 3 plus x 4 4 plus Display style e carrot x equals sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf t frac x carrot n n equals one plus x plus frac x carrot two two plus frac x carrot three three plus frac x carrot four four plus c d o t s. Thus, one plus x e x equals e x. Plus x e 
x equals n equals 0 infinity x n n plus n equals 0 infinity x n plus 1 n equals 1 plus n equals 1 infinity x n n plus n equals 0 infinity x n plus 1 n equals 1 plus n equals 1 infinity x n n plus n equals 1 infinity x n n minus 1 equals 1 plus n equals 1 infinity 1 n plus 1 n minus 1 x n equals 1 plus n equals 1 infinity n plus 1 n x n equals n equals 0 infinity n plus 1 n x n Display style begin aligned one plus x e carrot x and equals e carrot x plus x e carrot x equals sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf d frac x carrot n n plus sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf d frac x carrot n plus one n equals one plus sum underscore n equals one carrot inf d frac x carrot n n plus sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf d frac x carrot n plus one n and equals one plus sum underscore n equals 1 carrot inf d frac x carrot n n plus sum underscore n equals 1 carrot inf d frac x carrot n n 1 equals 1 plus sum underscore n equals 1 carrot inf d left frac 1 n plus frac 1 n 1 right x carrot n and equals 1 plus sum underscore n equals 1 carrot inf d frac n plus 1 n x carrot n and equals sum underscore n equals 0 carrot inf d frac n plus 1 n x carrot n and aligned topic taylor series as definitions classically algebraic functions are defined by an algebraic equation and transcendental functions including those discussed above are defined by some property that holds for them such as a differential equation for example, the exponential function is the function which is equal to its own derivative everywhere, and assumes the value 1 at the origin. However, one may equally well define an analytic function by its Taylor series. Taylor series are used to define functions and «operators» in diverse areas of mathematics. In particular, this is true in areas where the classical definitions of functions break down. For example, using Taylor series, one may extend analytic functions to sets of matrices and operators, such as the matrix exponential or matrix logarithm. In other areas, such as formal analysis, it is more convenient to work directly with the power series themselves. Thus one may define a solution of a differential equation as a power series which, one hopes to prove, is the Taylor series of the desired solution. Topic. Taylor series in several variables The Taylor series may also be generalized to functions of more than one variable with t x 1 x d equals n 1 equals 0 infinity n d 
equals zero infinity x one minus a one n one x d minus a d n d n one n d n one plus plus n d f x one n one x d n d a one a d equals f a one a d plus j equals one d f a one a d x j x j minus a j plus one two j equals one d k equals one d two f a one a d x j x k x j minus a j x k minus a k plus plus one three j equals one d k equals one d l equals one d three f a one A D X J X K X L X J minus A J X K minus A K X L minus A L plus display style begin aligned T X underscore one L dots X underscore D and equals sum underscore N underscore one equals zero carrot inf T C D O T S sum underscore N underscore D equals zero carrot inf T frac X underscore one a underscore one carrot N underscore one C D O T S X underscore D a underscore D carrot N underscore D N underscore one CDO TSN underscore D left frac partial carrot N underscore one plus CDO TS plus N underscore D F partial X underscore one carrot N underscore one CDO TS partial X underscore D carrot N underscore D right a underscore one L dots a underscore D and equals F A underscore one L dots a underscore D plus some underscore J equals one carrot D frac partial F A underscore one L dots a underscore D partial X underscore J X underscore J a underscore J plus frac one two sum underscore J equals one carrot D sum underscore K equals one carrot D frac partial carrot two F A underscore one L dots a underscore D partial X underscore J partial X underscore K X underscore J a underscore J X underscore K a underscore K plus and Q quad Q quad plus frac one three sum underscore J equals one carrot D sum underscore K equals one carrot D sum underscore L equals one carrot D frac partial carrot three F A underscore one L dots a underscore D partial X underscore J partial X underscore K partial X underscore L X underscore J a underscore J X underscore K a underscore K X underscore L a underscore L plus C D O T S end aligned for example for a function F X Y display style F X Y that depends on two variables X and Y the Taylor series to second order about the point A B is F a B plus X minus A F X A B plus Y minus B F Y A B plus one two X minus a two F X X A B plus two 
x minus a y minus b f x y a b plus y minus b 2 f y y a b Display style F A B plus X A F underscore X A B plus Y B F underscore Y A B plus frac one two big X A carrot two F underscore X X A B plus two X A Y B F underscore X Y A B plus Y B carrot two F underscore Y Y A B big where the subscripts denote the respective partial derivatives. A second-order Taylor series expansion of a scalar-valued function of more than one variable can be written compactly as T x equals f a plus x minus a t d f a plus one two x minus a t d 2 f a x minus a plus display style t math bf x equals f math bf a plus math bf x math bf a carrot m a t h s f t d f math bf a plus frac one two math bf x math bf a carrot m a t h s f t left d carrot two f math bf a right math bf x math bf a plus c d o t s where d f a is the gradient of f evaluated at x equals or and d two f a is the Hessian matrix. Applying the multi-index notation the Taylor series for several variables becomes T x equals alpha 0 x minus a alpha 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 f a Display style t math bf x equals sum underscore alpha g q zero frac math bf x math bf a carrot alpha alpha left mathram partial carrot alpha f right math bf a, which is to be understood as a still more abbreviated multi-index version of the first equation of this paragraph, with a full analogy to the single variable case. Topic example. In order to compute a second order Taylor series expansion around point a b equals 0 0 of the function f x y equals e x log 1 plus y display style f x y equals e caret x log 1 plus y one first computes all the necessary partial derivatives f x equals e x log 1 plus y f y equals e x 1 plus y f x x equals e x log 1 plus y f y y equals minus e x 1 plus y 2 f x y equals f y x equals e x 1 plus y Display style begin aligned f underscore x and equals e carrot x log one plus y six pt f underscore y and equals frac e carrot x one plus y six pt f underscore x x and equals e carrot x log one plus y six pt f underscore y y and equals frac e carrot x one plus y carrot two six pt f underscore x y and equals f underscore y x equals frac e carrot x one plus y end aligned evaluating these derivatives at the origin gives the taylor coefficients f 
x 0 0 equals 0 f y 0 0 equals 1 f x x 0 0 equals 0 f y y 0 0 equals minus 1 f x y 0 0 equals f y x 0 0 equals 1 Display style begin aligned F underscore x zero zero and equals zero F underscore Y zero zero and equals one F underscore x x zero zero and equals zero F underscore Y Y zero zero and equals minus one F underscore x Y zero zero and equals F underscore Y x zero zero equals one. End aligned. Substituting these values into the general formula T x Y equals F A B plus X minus A F X A B plus Y minus B F Y A B plus one Two x minus a two f x x a b plus two x minus a y minus b f x y a B plus Y minus B two F Y Y A B plus display style T x y equals F A B plus X A F underscore X A B plus Y B F underscore Y A B plus frac one two big X A carrot two F underscore X X A B plus two X A Y B F underscore X Y A B plus Y B carrot two F underscore Y Y A B big plus C D O T S produces T X Y equals zero plus zero x minus zero plus one y minus zero plus one two zero x minus zero two plus two x minus 0 y minus 0 plus minus 1 y minus 0 2 plus equals y plus x y minus y 2 Two plus display style begin aligned T x Y and equals zero plus zero x zero plus one Y zero plus frac one two big zero x zero carrot two plus two x zero Y zero plus minus one Y zero carrot two big plus C D O T S and equals Y plus X C frac Y carrot two two plus C D O T S end aligned since log one plus Y is analytic in Y E X log one plus Y equals Y plus X Y Y minus y two two plus y one. Display style e carrot x log one plus y equals y plus x e frac y carrot two two plus c d o t s q quad y.
Topic: Comparison with Fourier series. The trigonometric Fourier series enables one to express a periodic function or a function defined on a closed interval a, b, as an infinite sum of trigonometric functions, sines and cosines. In this sense, the Fourier series is analogous to Taylor series, since the latter allows one to express a function as an infinite sum of powers. Nevertheless, the two series differ from each other in several relevant issues. The finite truncations of the Taylor series of f x about the point x equals are all exactly equal to f at a. In contrast, the Fourier series is computed by integrating over an entire interval, so there is generally no such point where all the finite truncations of the series are exact. The computation of Taylor series requires the knowledge of the function on an arbitrary small neighborhood of a point, whereas the computation of the Fourier series requires knowing the function on its whole domain interval. In a certain sense one could say that the Taylor series is «local» and the Fourier series is «global». The Taylor series is defined for a function which has infinitely many derivatives at a single point, whereas the Fourier series is defined for any integrable function. In particular, the function could be nowhere differentiable. For example, f x could be a Weierstrass function. The convergence of both series has very different properties. Even if the Taylor series has positive convergence radius, the resulting series may not coincide with the function, but if the function is analytic then the series converges pointwise to the function, and uniformly on every compact subset of the convergence interval. Concerning the Fourier series, if the function is square integrable then the series converges in quadratic mean, but additional requirements are needed to ensure the pointwise or uniform convergence, for instance, if the function is periodic and of class C1 then the convergence is uniform. Finally, in practice one wants to approximate the function with a finite number of terms, say with a Taylor polynomial or a partial sum of the trigonometric series, respectively. In the case of the Taylor series the error is very small in a neighborhood of the point where it is computed, while it may be very large at a distant point. In the case of the Fourier series the error is distributed along the domain of the function. Topic. See also Asymptotic expansion Generating function Laurent series Madhava series Newton's divided difference interpolation Padé approximant Puyer series Shift operator Notes <laughs>